Hi there. I'm going to explain some curious things about uh, using a knife, especially in a, a conflict, a violent situation. Of course, the best thing is never to be on those places that represent risks for, for, for your security or, or your family or the friends that you are with. But um, let's analyze some situations that used to happen uh, in Brazil, especially in jail, jail situation. Um, and we are using a knife. Of course, the, the aggressor, the opponent, won't, don't know that you have a knife because in a public place, as a restaurant or something, if somebody sees that you have a knife, they're going to try to avoid the short distance with a chair or if they have a gun, they will use a gun and then it will be useless having a knife in this, those situations. So, uh, considering that they do not know that you have a knife and that will be our surprise element, let's analyze some uh, basic situations that used to happen in, in Brazil. So, um, the first thing you're going to see that I'm going to use a wall against my back and that, that's my intention. I want this wall on my back because uh, depending on the situation that you are, uh, you don't know if other aggressors are coming from, from your, your back and normally we are very tense, uh, we, ha we are sometimes focusing just one more violent aggressor and we don't realize that there are others that are coming around. So let's also consider that situation that I'm going to use a wall in my favor. So let's, let's go to the wall. A very common situation in Brazil if, is uh, if someone grabs your neck and going to uh, pull you against the wall and normally they're going to uh, catch a knife and they're going to stab you. So I'm going to pass the knife to my <laughs> to my case for son here. So imagine that he's going to that's the situation that's just a representative situation as if I'm going to say. They're going to grab my trachea and that's the point they're going to press it with lots of strength so this is uh, it would be difficult for me to breathe, even to see, because my eyes will start like I start crying because it's a reaction of the body, and then they will stab, and I won't be able to to get out of it. So let's first analyze this thing. Imagine that he's coming, and I'm, I'm sorry, we have just one knife. I'm going to use it. Uh, this the other possibility. If it was a policeman, or if I was a work there, they are going to grab my cap bring me to the wall and do the same thing, they, you just um, block my vision and I'll be again dead. <laughs> that's, that's the point. So, uh, the thing is that if I have a knife and he does not know that I have a knife, we, have, uh, we can just hide it, sometimes it's on, the, and on your back so you have to be fast to take it out. The other possibility, if you use it like this in a gyakute position, so sometimes people don't see that you have knife in your hands, but anyway, the body will be positioned in a way that, of course, he will not realize as well that I have this in my hand because it will be relaxed and will be on the back part of my body. But considering this, the moment that he comes to grab me, I have to see the shoulders. Of course, my, my vision must be in a way that I see from his feet to his head. Any other close distance from this will be harder for me uh, to react. And the point that I must uh, pay attention to, especially, will be shoulders because any movement that he does with his arms, I'm be able to react uh, in time. So the first thing is that if he comes, I'm, I'm using the wall in my favor here against my back. I come because if he grabs my track here, it will be harder. Even if I try to cut his arm, he can punch me with the other hand. It will be very really hard for me to, to get out of it already. It will be too late. So, the other possibility is if he comes here, I will stab. It doesn't matter if it's face, if it's neck, if it's thorax, or another really um, violent situation used with knife just to for make him lose his center or his attention. It will be a circular one. 